Hey guys, it's Ruby, back with all your Las Vegas news and updates, this time for February. This is a big update. We have a lot of news coming your way. A bunch of new eats and a new food hall has opened. The Super Bowl is coming to Las Vegas. And a video game themed hotel is on the table. Before we get started, I am so close to 300,000 subscribers. That is a huge milestone if you're not subscribed it is free to do it does help my channel grow old red has opened i can't believe how fast they got this place up and running and it looks really cool it is a little odd seeing like an old red brick building in the middle of the strip but it looks so nice there now that there's less construction it is four stories tall with some incredible wrap around balconies with some amazing views of the strip. They're playing live music in there. They're gonna have a mechanical bull in there and it's gonna be a restaurant. I haven't eaten yet, but it's a really cool spot. So I'm excited to check it out in full. And I mean, if you're looking for a great view in Vegas, you really can't beat it. It looks awesome. The Bellagio Conservatory has switched over to Lunar New Year, and it is a really pretty one. It is Year of the Dragon. They actually have some statues that are animatronic that move in there this time. I do like the Lunar New Year display. I find it to be a little less crowded this time of year compared to Christmas, so it is easier to get in there and get pictures, which I enjoy. Um, but my favorite is spring. That one will be next. The new Rio Food Hall opened, and we got a sneak peek and I was very impressed with all the food. We started over at Nama Nama Sushi and Sake. This is gonna be your hand roll bar. You could also get cut rolls to go. The sashimi here was delicious. And Tender Crush. So this is a chicken concept by the people who made Black Tap and the chicken tenders were incredible, but the donut was delicious. We also had Southland burritos. They had a braised babacoa in their burrito that was like smoky. You could taste the smoke in the meat. It was so good. We also tried Attaboy burgers. I was getting super full by this point as well as Shogun ramen. So this is gonna be extremely authentic ramen from a Japanese master. And then we also tried Tony Luke's. So that is the only one here that is like not a new concept. It's an actual franchise. Tony Luke's was great. They make their hoagies fresh and you could absolutely tell the bread was a standout. This was such a well thought out food haul. We really liked everything. I'm excited that that's there. And it's just step one of them improving the Rio, and maybe it'll be restored to its former glory. There are talks to reinvigorate the Atari-themed hotel in Las Vegas. So in 2020, developers were talking about building some video game themed hotels in different cities, including Las Vegas. The plan sort of fell through and no one was talking about it anymore. They have announced that they're back and considering building a hotel themed on classic and modern video games. I will let you guys know if I hear anything more on this. It's gonna be a believe it when I see it thing, but very interesting if it does happen. News over at MGM, both good and bad, for my Marriott Bonvoy members. It turns out that if you are MGM Gold or above, you can now tier match to a higher level at Marriott Bonvoy. Marriott hotels are all over the US. I mean, so this could be really great for those of you that have those higher tiers to be able to utilize a tier matching so that you can get points and get perks in other cities. But in not so good news, MGM has raised the resort fees at every property. It's up to $37 at Excalibur and Luxor, and all the way up to $50 over at like Cosmo Bellagio. In other MGM news, they did buy the plot of land right between the Cosmopolitan and the Bellagio, just in front of the Jockey Club. It is just kind of a little sliver of land. My musings think maybe they're gonna find some way to make a better walkway uh, from Cosmo to Bellagio. So in strip news, in terms of the Super Bowl, we have construction happening. We were able to take a look at the goings on with Paramount Mountain. So they have drained all the water out of the volcano in front of the Mirage. They're putting down some decking because you are going to be able to walk by this mountain. And then they're building on top of the volcano. And that's where the like peak of the mountain is going to be. Uh, this is going to be like an interactive experience talking about Paramount movies, pictures, shows, all that jazz. And in front of the Bellagio construction continues on the CBS 
reporting station that is going to happen right in front of the fountains. You can walk through there as of now when I'm filming this, but they've closed it on and off in front of the fountain to where I don't know what it's going to be from day to day. But this is set to open before the Super Bowl, and so you will be able to walk in front of it once it's built. Hopefully this will be the last building chaos we have for a while in front of Bellagio now, at least through spring and summer until we have to deal with F1 again. And Orla has opened over at Mandalay Bay. This is by Chef Michael Mina. This is going to be Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and Greek cuisines. The restaurant looks really beautiful. Gonna have to check that out. News at Flamingo. So Bird Bar is no more. The entire back area where Bird Bar was is totally closed off. There are even machines and things back there. It's all completely walled off. As far as we know now, the Gordon Ramsay Burger is going in that spot. The Vanderpump, the new one, which is going to be called Pinkies, is going in the poker room. I'm imagining it's going to come all the way out to the front. There will probably be like a patio. Uh, I'm excited for it. I'm sure it's going to be an absolutely beautiful Vanderpump location, hopefully very pink and hopefully flamingos. The Planet Hollywood Heart Bar is still under renovation, but according to a friendly subscriber who works at Planet Hollywood, they have told me that it's going to be called the Glass Bar and that they're trying to open the new renovated bar at least a week before the Super Bowl. And in other Planet Hollywood news, Koi has closed. This was the sushi restaurant right up on the second floor. This is a shame. They had a good happy hour here. We did try their sushi and it's good and their drinks were good. Gonna have to keep an eye out to see what they replace it with. Tiesto is going to be a very busy man in 2024. We have already reported to you guys that he was moving over to Fountain Blue and he is going to have a residency at Liv, but he's also going to have a residency over at Omnia at Caesars Palace, Tau Beach at Venetian, and Wet Republic at MGM Grand. Speaking of Fountain Blue, some things are shaken up at the high levels of executives here. So the chief marketing officer and the COO have both voluntarily stepped down. This is following the senior VP of operations who also left Fountain Blue recently. So a lot of the heads and big wigs over at Fountain Blue have left. Going to be interesting to see how this plays out, especially since they have just opened. Venetian is going to be changing their loyalty club program starting in March of this year. The tiers are going to be changing their names to Jade, Sapphire, Ruby, and Diamond. Depending on what tier you are now, you are going to be matched over to the equivalent tier. So we are second from the top, so we are going to be Ruby. Could not have planned that better myself. It's looking like a pretty standard loyalty program. It's going to be one point for every $4 in slots, two points for every dollar spent on like dining and experiences. But one thing I did notice is that the loyalty points you've already accumulated could lose value. Right now, points are worth as much as 2.5 cents and they could be all dropping down to one cent. Play Playground in the Luxor will be opening. They're gonna have a grand opening party February 1st. This is that family-friendly concept, but is also going to be a 21 and up only at night. It's literally gonna be a bar, but with a playground attached. I'm thinking like leaps and bounds. Do you guys remember leaps and bounds? but with a bar in it. So I'm absolutely excited to check this out. I will go there, report on it, let you guys know how it is. Elvis may be making his return to Las Vegas only in hologram form. So a UK-based company is working on making this immersive concert experience using holographic Elvis. They're going to have a venue that's also going to have an Elvis-themed restaurant with an after party. It's going to be way out this year we're talking like november of 2024 that they're hoping to have this concert begin you guys remember that scene in blade runner where they showed holographic elvis i think it's gonna be like that it's gonna be really cool the excalibur center bar is finally open it looks like it fits right in it does have tabletop gaming and tvs this has been closed for a while so it's nice to see the construction is finally finished to tie together the casino the Downtown Grand has expanded the hours on the epic hot dog cart. If you're not aware, you can go to Downtown Grand and get a beer and a hot dog for $2. It's an epic deal. It used to only be open until 5, but they said that they're going to base it on demand now, and it can be open as late as 6 to 8 p.m. Obviously, February brings Valentine's Day here in Las Vegas. If you're looking for restaurant recommendations, I recommend you check out my best restaurants videos and my best steakhouses videos. All of those offer atmosphere, good food, and a lot of options for you guys if you're looking for somewhere for a date night. 
And obviously, February is bringing us the Super Bowl at Allegiant Stadium. I've had a lot of questions on where to watch. It's going to be everywhere. (laughs) Like, I can't stress enough. Every sports bar, every bar, everywhere is going to be doing something. And most places are probably going to have a cover. The most popular places to watch are absolutely going to be places like Circa Downtown. I know that Stadium Swim is doing, like, standing room. And I think those are still available. But everything else at Stadium Swim is sold out. And you can also book at their sports book. So that is all our news for February. As I stated in our last update, I am putting together a group poll. I'm going to get something organized. Make sure you're subscribed over on Ruby Slots. We're going to announce it over there. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys all in my next update.